everybody, so I'm super happy today because I'm going to bring you this super super popular and so delicious Taiwanese gua bao. I'm sure you're gonna love it. So first I have here two pounds of pork belly that I have fully cleaned and sliced it into one inch pieces. In a pan, we're gonna pan fry the pork belly without oil for about five minutes until they are golden brown. We don't have to add any oil here because as you know, pork belly is really oily, has a lot of fat in it. Okay, so now we're gonna take them out and put aside. With the leftover pork oil in the pan, we're gonna introduce uh, two chopped shallots, one bunch of chopped scallions, the white and the middle parts, also five cloves of smashed garlic, two pieces of star anise, one cinnamon, and now we're just gonna stir fry until the aroma comes out. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar and cook until it is completely melted. Pour in six tablespoons of soy sauce, six tablespoons of rice wine, half teaspoon of white pepper, half teaspoons of five spice powder. Mix well. Transfer back to pork belly. Then pour in two cups of hot water, or until the water covers the pork belly. Cook it in low heat for three hours. Occasionally, we're gonna stir and also add hot water if the water dries out. All right, so after one hour of cooking, we're gonna steal about five tablespoons of pork belly's fat stock uh, from the simmering pot. And we're going to use it for the pickled sour monster later. So here I have 8 ounces of pickled sour monster. I have thoroughly washed it, minced it, and also soaked it in water for about 1 hour to reduce the saltiness. Now we're going to drain and try to squeeze out all the water from it. Then in a pan, we're going to add back the pork fat stock. I have no idea how to call this, but this is what it is. Then we're going to introduce the pickled sour monster and stir fry it. Also, add a dash of soy sauce, a pinch of white pepper, a pinch of five spice powder, and a pinch of sugar. Cook it until the aroma comes out. Now put it aside. So here I have one cup of honey roasted peanut and I grounded them in a food processor. Traditionally, Taiwanese use just a regular roasted peanut with sugar. Um, and the ratio of peanut to sugar is 2 to 1. Now we're going to boil water in a steamer. So I'm also going to put a steam sheet on the plate to prevent it from sticking on the bun later. Um, then we're going to transfer 6 doubled buns in it. For this recipe, you can really use up to 9 buns, but I'm just out of space. We're going to steam this in high heat for about 5 minutes. After 3 hours of cooking, the pork belly should look something like this. My first gua bao experience was actually in New York. I remember the first time I had it, it was just so heavenly, so meltingly good. And so the last time when I visited Taiwan, I intentionally stood in front of a gua bao store for almost 30 minutes. I was eating gua bao at the same time and I was watching them how to make it because I really want to share this recipe with you. It is so delicious. I want you to be able to make it at home because it's not hard. It just took some time. So remember to subscribe, thumbs up. I'll see you next week. Bye!